Today, there are state-of-the-art green homes being built right here in Syracuse, New York. This past year, more than 50 plans from architectural firms nationwide were submitted for a green homes competition called From the Ground Up. The competition was presented by Syracuse University School of Architecture in partnership with the Syracuse Center of Excellence and Home Headquarters. The goal was to create innovative designs for cost-efficient green building concepts and build them in the near West Side neighborhood in Syracuse, which is currently experiencing a green rejuvenation. One of the winning designs of the competition, known as the Live Work Home, designed by Cook Plus Fox Architects in New York City, uses an element called structural insulated panels, also referred to as SIP. These panels started being used in the 1940s and have since evolved and become more readily available. In the 90s, use of SIPs increased dramatically due to the advancements made in computer-aided manufacturing technology, or CAM design. The SIP design element is central to the building design, providing an extremely well-insulated building shell, reducing energy use, improving comfort, and potentially saving the homeowner thousands of dollars in utility bills over the life of the home. SIPs are prefabricated structural elements used for walls, ceilings, roofs, and floors. They are engineered to provide framing, insulation, and exterior sheathing all together in one piece. SIPs are thicker and stronger in comparison to traditional stick frame building using fiberglass insulation. Insulated panels are made in a factory to a builder's specifications and are shipped already assembled directly to a job site. The panels are pre-cut and numbered for immediate use, and most already have openings for doors and windows cut out. Typically, a SIP panel consists of a 4 to 8 inch thick foam board insulation that is sandwiched between two pieces of structural materials, such as plywood, oriented strand board, or fiber cement board. At the Live Work Home in Syracuse, the builder used strand board as the structural material. Strand board is more uniform and less expensive than traditional plywood. The SIP panels used for the roof are thicker than those used for the walls. The roof panels contained 12-inch thick foam board with an R-value rating of 48. The panels used for the walls contained 6-inch thick foam board with an R-value of 24. There's a good reason the wood's tinted green. It's a mold-resistant coating that is applied to the wood in the factory. The coating protects the wood against mold and termite damage, which leads to less mold in the air, contributing to healthier indoor air quality. Often, panels need to be shaved slightly, providing a more airtight fit. This doesn't take long and can easily be taken care of on site. The next step in the installation process is the application of adhesive sealant to the foam layer to ensure an airtight connection. Once applied, the panel is lifted and slid into the tongue and groove of the bottom foundation and locked together. At this point, the panel fits and can stand vertically on its own. Soon after, nails are added to provide extra support. Overall, the time it takes to install the framing structure of a home with SIPs is much quicker than using other types of traditional construction. For this Syracuse home, the walls of the entire house went up in just a few days. Buildings such as the Live Work Home that use SIP panels are vastly more energy efficient than others. They also are stronger, more draft-free, and quieter buildings to live in. Plus, the materials used, the polystyrene foam insulation and oriented strand board sheets, are fully recyclable. For more information about structural insulated panels, visit the website www.sips.org.